Well, another video of me printing parts. As you notice, I had to change the uh, homing for the uh, Y axis. I had to put it back in the back originally where it was. Notice that the prints were coming out backwards. So I switched it back around, and now they're coming out right. <clears throat> My heated bed is working out really good made all the elements 11 elements for the bottom of the aluminum plate for the heated bed making the uh, lower z-axis brackets I guess you'd call them it will hold the uh, 608 bearings so the z-axis rods will have to be a little longer <clears throat> give a little better resolution and then I printed out some z-axis parts but the um, The bearing is going to be very, very tight. I don't know if you'll be able to use them or not. <clears throat> Printed out the uh, hinged extruder. I think this is going to work out great. Then I printed out a new X bed slide. The brain just snap into it. Just like that. It's going to work out nice. So there'll be three. And then the other z-axis idler same problem with the uh, inside of where the bearing goes though it's really tight uh, I think I would almost have to hammer the bearings in I don't want to do that <clears throat> something else I made I found it on thing thingiverse is a little chain wire guide print them one at a time and print enough of them you have a quite a few to uh, support the wire I can use this for my plasma cutting machine as well here's the one that came out backwards compare it <clears throat> yeah I feel I guess if you wanted to mount it on the other side the motor you could put it backwards and set it up oh well everything is working out pretty good <clears throat> I've got the uh, let's see if I can show you underneath the bed <clears throat> while it's printing I might have to go to the back side let you see all the wires underneath it it's uh, 22 wires all the reds are on one side, all the whites are on the other to wire each element up in parallel.
thermistor is the red and white wire going into the center of the bed and the black wires are for feeding the elements <coughs> Kept on tape. <clears throat> Maybe there's a little better view of it. Doesn't look like a lot. There's a lot of trouble building that. And of course I want to uh, tidy all this up, my relay to turn the band on and off through the Arduino board. And of course it's fuse, so a 20 amp fuse. And my hot end is fused as well. So I'm going to tidy all those up. And I'll probably put a red LED in this relay just to tell me when the heating element is heating and when it's not one other thing I wanted to show you is my spool tower that I printed out and these spools are uh, welding wire spools that I were empty and I used them working out really well. I had enough white filament that I filled up two spool, three spools with it. And I printed some stuff out before I had the spools filled up. So I had quite a lot of white filament. A lot of parts. Well, thank you for watching.